first and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. There is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, and honors and citations to the hopeful elect. So I want to entitle this lesson, you know, it takes away power from the enemy. Whether the enemy being the spiritual demon Satan, okay, and the you know the uh, the left hand side that that tries to that daily tries to get us to uh, go off, and daily tries to sift us from. You know, our true purpose, which is to serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Or whether it be the physical, our physical enemies, these heathens, man. The Psalms 83 lineup. The Psalms 83 lineup, man. Okay. And, you know, real quick before I get into the scriptures, I think, uh, you know, I want to make mention. It's actually 4 4, 4 a.m. right now. All right, and I'm uh, and the spirit is on me to do this lesson, cause what I learned is, <laughs> which I learned is like t truly learned is like two weeks ago. Truly strike while the iron is hot, man. If the spirit is on us to do a lesson, do it, do it, yo. You know, that's just my my advice. Sometimes it works as well. You know, well, my, you know, for me personally, it works better if I just do it right away. Sometimes <clears throat> another lesson may be set up, though, too, to where it's, it's a lesson in the making. You know, let me write it down and come back to it. But you also can't go wrong if you strike while the iron is hot, man. You know, so just just um wanted to put that out there. So. Anyhow, let me get um what Yahweh Shai said. Um to uh uh Pilate Salaki. Alright, Khan, so that's uh the book of John chapter um nineteen verse eleven. Which, uh, yeah, man, I pretty much had to, um, you know, get up to, um, pretty much to take a piss or whatever. And I was just, um, uh, meditating. And, you know, this lesson, uh, came to mind. Meditating the spirit. But anyway, so John 19, 11, <clears throat> how should I answer? Thou couldst have no power at all against me. Except it were given thee from above. Dang. That's and that's 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 like an anchor, man. We're just, we're just, that's like an anchor scripture, you know. It covers so much, yo. Those small simple words cover so much. Therefore he that delivered me unto thee hath the greater sin. Okay. Again, man, how was Shai answered? Thou couldest have no power at all against me, except it were given thee from above. So the only way, Yahweh Shai is telling him the only reason that he's even in this predicament is because the Heavenly Father sanctioned it and allowed it. And, and that's what the Heavenly Father wants. So, whoo! So, is that spiritual or what? Right? We're looking, we look straight past man. And even, well, that's why it's, it's in here, Romans 8, chapter 2, matter of fact. Let me get that real quick. Romans 8. I'll get, I'll get to the uh, point, which is because all this is good. But for time's sake, Romans chapter 8, verse uh, 37. 
Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Yeah, man, that's a beautiful thing, man. You know, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, putting the battery in our backs. You know, looking like the Dorian, Dorian straight, right? Which, which the South Americans, you know, Apostle Tahar showed it. The South Americans have to uh, get from, what was it, Brazil up to Panama. But they have to go through that. I believe that he said it was 60 miles of just lawlessness, rainforest. And, you know, they slip in, they fall in, it's muddy. But, you know, you got certain guides that that continue to, um, you know, pick them up when they down, so to speak. Well, that's your high shot in the spirit. You know, the strength we have to continue on in this truth, the wisdom we have. The spirit that's on us to make these lessons. That's all you have shy, you know, saying, come on, come on, come on, keep going. Keep, you know, something with us, man. So we're more than conquerors through you. How about you? I was shy. And pertain to Revelation, the second chapter, he said he'll. Yahweh Shai said he'll come and sup with us. He said he said himself he'll come and sup with us. He said himself he's going to keep us from the hour of temptation. So all that's why it's all praises and glory to Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, man. And tread very carefully saying you don't have to worship Yahweh Shai. So it says verse 38, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High, which is in Yahweh Shai, which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, our Lord. See that? So, just going back to how it's it's all spiritual to where we look we look past. And that takes away so much power. That's why I tell this, man. That takes away so much power from the enemy. When here it is, uh, you know, the enemy may try and sift you or, or do you harm. And you fearing the, the, the power that's that controls him, the power that's behind him. You know, you don't fear them themselves. But you fear because, you know, we know that it's your Pasha Mal Shah is doing. So that fear really jumps, skips right over them and goes to your Pasha Mal Shah. And the Lord must be pleased with that. Because, matter of fact, let me get that in. Um, Yep, Psalms 147, 11. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him. So we're looking past the enemy. We're looking past these things. And what's the uh, what's the word? Like re, re yeah, rerouting. We're rerouting that fear into the Lord. See? Because the Hey man, look, the Lord said it's nothing for the Lord to shut up the the hands of many in the hands of a few. So we can even see like a large crowd and the fear automatically goes to the Lord. Because we pray we can pray to the Lord that the Lord deliver us from this from this large crowd. You know, pertaining back to back to the ancient ancient times and even the even us getting that power on, on this side, man, to be able to, uh, you know, resist the temptation. OK, all the fear goes back to Yahweh Bashem Hashai, and that must be very pleasing unto him, man. For us to be able to look past man. Beast, creature, whatever. 
and the fear is automatically to the Lord. Like, Lord, Lord, save me, you know? Like, Lord, this is, this is, is this really going to be your will? Is this really what you want me to go through, Lord? Or, Lord, save me this, because as it continues on, it says, the, 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 uh, the Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him and those that hope in his mercy. Because at the end of the day, we're also going to hope in the Lord's mercy, man. We don't, that's another thing. We're not going to um, put our hope in in the enemy that he has mercy upon us. Whether it be uh, whatever, man, back on back to Romans 8 chapter. You know, we're not going to put our hope in them to have mercy upon us. We're not going to put our fear in them. Because of uh, the, the strength that they may look like they have, because that's in uh, the book of Isaiah, because that strength that they look like they may have a lot of people going to bow down to that. Isaiah 31 and one woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. And stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many. And in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. And of course, this has a, uh, a um ancient history to it. But of course, Romans 15 and 4, all things are written a fourth time for our learning. Because this was a time where uh, the king of uh, uh, Judah... Um, I forget. I think it might have been Hezekiah, King Hezekiah, and the Babylonians were coming against him. No, the Assyrians were coming against him, and he tried to form a league. No, yeah, actually, uh, I gotta go over it against Salaki, because I think it was certain certain instances, two instances that I'm getting confused because all. Yeah, one of them, the Babylonians did. Try and come against them. And then uh, you had a king that rebelled. All right. But then uh, the Assyrians also tried to come against them too. So, but uh, yeah, I believe it's talking about the Assyrians. So like it. But anyhow. They wanted to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it's Assyria. Yeah. They wanted to uh, put their trust in Egypt. To form a league against them, to fight against them. Right? When the Lord already said, when the Lord already sent Isaiah to tell him to trust, put your trust in the Lord. So uh anyhow, going back to the point, because see, they can come off as looking very strong. So that's why a lot of people, a lot of people that what that aren't spiritual, going back to Romans the eighth chapter, they'll fall victim to that. And they'll put their fear in them and they'll put their hope in them. But see, we're looking past them. And automatically putting our hope and our fear in the Lord. And like I said, like the scripture said, furthermore, that's got to be pleasing to the Lord, man. <laughs> you know, it's got to be a beautiful thing to the Lord. Like, we don't care about how strong you look or, you know, what you got going on. The only way that you could do anything against us is if Yahweh Bashim Shai allows it. So, therefore, we fear Yahweh Bashim Shai. Not the fucking creature itself. You know, so let me get over Romans. So, like, without further ado, Romans chapter 8. I'll start verse 6, end it off. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Who? Because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, for it is neither subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High. You know, once again, going into pleasing the Lord. So that takes away power from the enemy, man. When we can see past them and see in the spirit, Who's controlling them? Who's behind them? Who do we really beg for mercy? Who do we really fear? Who can really execute uh, uh, the judgment? Who can make them go away? Who could 
uh, uh, deliver us from that uh, impending situation. It's all Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. The end all be all is with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, not not with man. So, Lord willing, this was edifying. With that, I'm gonna say Shalom.